Hi guys, welcome to another video. I actually started filming this video this morning, but I didn't really do an intro. Not a decent one. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to cut straight to that. Today's been a day of a bit of climbing. So, yeah, hope you enjoy the video and please subscribe. So, the route I'm going to do is uh, one I've never done before. Um, so, someone I follow on Strava who's in the local club did this a few weeks ago. Um, and I thought it looked quite good. It's uh, It starts off sort of near Moulton and goes up sort of on the usual route that I do here and coming back here. But this bit's new for me. So most people go to Rosedale Abbey, which is here. Uh, whereas this is uh, sort of like the next road over. So it's to a place called Cocaine. So yeah, we're going to... Uh, Gonna go up there and see what the climb's like. It looks like it's pretty steady away. So this is what I usually eat before a, a decent ride. I've got um, some porridge that I've made on the on the hob. It's quite liquidy because that's how I like it. It's got some figs in there and some honey and a pinch of salt. Um, I've got orange juice and coffee, standard, uh, and also an ensaimada, just for that Spanish feel. It makes me feel like I'm in Spain. Um, the weather today is pretty good. Just looking outside, got some blue sky and it looks pretty sunny. I think it's going to be cloudy later though, so the sooner we get out the better. And there's a small chance of rain this afternoon, but we might be back for that. So, just coming out of uh, the village I live in, about a mile out of it towards Moulton, and I just had a real close near-death experience. Two deer, one either side of the road. I didn't know what was going to happen. Luckily I was climbing, so I wasn't going that fast. And then they dashed off in either direction. Thank God for that. I wish I'd filmed it though. It was scary. <laughs> okay, we've made it to sort of the north of Moulton now. So just the quiet roads up to the North Yorkshire Moors. So it shouldn't be much traffic on here. The weather's a bit weird. It's nice when the sun's out, like the summer clothes are enough. But then as soon as the shade comes or the sun goes in, it's pretty cold. So, in order to best prepare for the weather, I'm pretty weighed down. I've uh, got a fair bit of food on me for sort of like 100Ks. And I've also got my rain jacket because I don't go anywhere without it. Because the day I forget to bring it is the day it rains. And I've also got a base layer as well. Just in case it does get a bit cold, I can put that on. So, the wind today is coming sort of from the west. Because this ride is more sort of straight north than straight south, it's just going to be a bit of an annoying uh, crosswind for the full ride. So yeah, we're about maybe 25 kilometers away from the start of the climb. It's just sort of the, uh, the slog through the flats. But that's okay, just going to take it easy. So I probably won't film much now unless I see something until we get to the climb. So we just left the main road and I think this is the start of the climb. It's sort of continuous for about 10 miles. Where this is but it's really nice. I'm busy actually, really busy. So yeah I just found it on the Wahoo, you have to zoom out a bit but as you can see we're kind of at the start, as you can see we are at the start of the climb pretty much. I have to remember not to go too hard, I've not done a climb that's long since Probably Sakalopa in February, and before then it would have been south of Spain at the end of last year. So yeah, we'll just take it steady and hopefully get to the top in one piece. It's not too big. Seem to hit a bit of a plateau. We've not done that much climbing, but we're definitely heading into that wind. It's more of a northwest than a north route. Windy North Yorkshire Moors. The views are stunning though. Absolutely stunning. Kind of reminds you why I choose to live around here. Makes all those days of bad weather worth it. Kind of. As long as you can get on a plane and go to Spain. <laughs> It's 
hard. Okay, I think this might be the steepest part of the climb. So we just came from over there, I don't know if you can see it, and we're now going up here. Yeah, we're like 11, 12 percent, so it's not too bad. It's still possible to talk, film with one hand, and pedal. But the views are outstanding. That's where we've come from over there. Okay, I think there's one little climb left, and then we're at the top. It has been pretty steady away, to be fair. Just went wrong a little bit, I went the wrong way then, but a really steep climb. And the top looks like it's going to be up, up there somewhere. So just what you want mid-climb, got to close the gate. So yeah, that's fun, you get to stop mid-climb and close it. <laughs> Alright, onwards. The top is in sight. And now it's happening again. <laughs> so yeah, that's new to me, you've got to close the gate. Mid-climb. Definitely wish I'd reversed this route. Would have been a lot better. And there's a sign there saying 16% gradient. So Ride of GPS lied to me when it said maximum gradient of 11% this morning. But at least uh, this is sort of like the top nearly. So we'll stop when we get there. Some black clouds, but I don't think they're going to cause us too many issues. We are heading sort of like that way now and south, so it should be okay. One thing I will say though is this road surface is sublime. Freshly laid tarmac, I can still smell it. So smooth. Makes the gradient feel like nothing. So I think this is our 16% coming up. Maybe not. So peaceful between the, the hills and the trees. This is the 16% coming up now. It's only tiny. Okay, so we made it to the top of Cochrane. Um, I don't think my Strava time is going to be great because uh, I ended up stopping further down the road to talk to a couple of cyclists there who are actually uh, at the jersey or the shop I used to ride with. So I think that's just been my time because then it was like a tiny, insignificant little bit of climbing to do. But well, it's not all about Strava times and I was never on for a good time anyway. So yeah, we're at the top now. I'm going to have a bite to eat. And that's it. We've, uh, we've done the descent. It didn't take long at all. And now we're just back into the lanes, back towards Moulton, and heading home. We've definitely got a tailwind now though, which is much appreciated. So I think I'm going to end the video there. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, and uh, there'll be another video out soon. Cheers.